Maria was, was something that we hadn't seen before. But the National Weather Service meteorologist in charge in San Juan, Roberto Garcia, saw her coming. We knew Maria was going to be a big deal. Close to a Category 5, winds of 155 miles per hour demolished nearly everything in its path, including the island's radar. Everything went down, and then communications went down. But still, the meteorologists inside the San Juan office had to track the monster storm, issuing warnings and advisories basically blind, except for one new eye in the sky. We would start uh, looking at the last uh, radar imagery overlaying with the satellite, GO-16. By that time, it was experimental. The meteorologists were able to calibrate the new advanced weather satellite imagery and use it to track the eye of the hurricane as it roared across the island. Using the satellite, we were able to issue the uh, streaming warnings uh, as the eye wall was affecting the, the different municipalities across the island. While the meteorologists here were able to figure out how to work without radar, they say one of the hardest things was being stuck inside here for three days with the storm shutters down and no communication to the outside, including their families. And we don't know what happened outside. And they asked me, how were the families, the relatives of the, of the people, of the employees? And I couldn't answer because I, I got you know, emotional because we didn't know. Fortunately, no staff families or homes were catastrophically affected by the storm. But once the shutters were lifted three days later, it was like a whole new world. It looks like a cat, uh, I mean, EF3 or EF4, when you saw no leaves in, in the trees. Before and after satellite imagery shows the devastation better than anyone can explain. because it was like something no one had seen before. In San Juan, Puerto Rico, for AccuWeather, I'm Jonathan Petromala.